Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. Firstly, I hope you enjoyed the new little introduction video. I did update some of those shots because they were quite old and outdated prior to that. So I think that was needed. And um, yeah, I really love it now. The island is really starting to take shape. But before we move into the island, I hope everyone is well. Obviously, we are living through very difficult times at the moment. So I hope you're all keeping safe and doing as you're being asked to by your government. And um, we'll get through this together. And in the meantime, let's play some city skylines. So last time round, we were working on this little, well, I say little, this battery, huge fort. <laughs> um, really, really fun to build. I actually really enjoyed doing this. And as I said in the last video, it was a location that I really, really wanted to build when I saw it in real life. Didn't think I'd be able to achieve it to the level that I managed to in the end, so really, really pleased with that. But today we're going to be working on something very unique, very different, and something that I didn't really think about doing, apart from when I saw a recent YouTube series, which I'm sure you're all fully aware of and you've been watching, but we'll talk about that a bit later on. Firstly, let's talk about what we're going to be working on. So today we are going to be building this little section here, which is a old World War II missile sort of testing site. Now, if you was to go to the island today, this location is similar. I mean, these sections here that we're working on now are still there, but the actual missile launch area is not. It's just the remains and the ruins of what was once there. So I had an idea, I had a look on Google Maps and I actually found what this location looked like during its prime and during the time of being used. And it looks fascinating. It's such a unique looking sort of military, well, a sort of test launch site. Obviously quite small because the island is a very small island compared to these huge ones in the States and um, you know that sort of a build. So I thought I would give this a go and I'm gonna pop up on the screen now what the actual location looks like today. And then also we'll show what it looked like when it was actually active and being used. And you'll see it's a very unique build and it's one that I really wanted to try and replicate um, as best I could. Again, we have gone a little bit off in terms of uh, the like for likeness, but we've got it looking fairly similar, um, which you'll see a bit later on. I took a bit of time off camera as well before you see what I'm doing here, trying to find the best sort of assets and ways of doing so. I started off with some walls and putting in some uh, proper asphalt. I then moved on to a few other sort of props and in the end I settled on a combination of a few. So you'll see we've used the actual keys here to create the sort of ledge and I do start by using PO um, to basically create this surface on top. Um, unfortunately this footage here ends up being demolished and I go a different route. I, I did have a bit of an issue on one of my loads where all this hard work you see on camera now um, disappeared and I couldn't get it back so a bit of a, a scenario where I didn't really want to recreate all of that again I thought I'll go for a different route. So you will see that change shortly um, and I do go a slightly different route but it still works and looks good and you can also see how well PO allows you to adapt to the shapes of this key for example you can see how well it curves itself around when these are actually just square blocks um, so that works really nice and you also notice as well how quick it is to do now I mean just imagine trying to do that before all of these latest updates it really is a game changer in itself now just talk about the channel again like we normally do we always have a little update um, and I did say to you guys that there was going to be a few more videos and I think this is probably the last one I think of what I said I was going to do but there is some good news I have two more videos for the island um, sort of pending let's say let's put it that way um, and I'm probably going to then move over to Monaco after so there'll be two more episodes coming up for the Isle of Wight um, 100% there could be more it depends on what creativity flares I get <laughs> during so the only reason why I've done some more is because I got a, a huge um, run of inspiration when I was looking around the map so that's that's all fun also we have a little competition which is um, pondering along in the background now 
Um, and we're doing a little competition on the island and it's pretty much going to be very similar to the guest builds we've been doing. We're going to give the contestants a plot of land, all exactly the same. You can, they're going to have the same assets, the same mods, everything the same. And they're going to basically build their most realistic little village scene. So that's something that's going to be coming up on the channel. Um, we're going to make it interesting. There's going to be a prize as well, which I need to think of. Um, and we um, will also get some um, some people involved to do the actual judging as well. I need to work out the best way of doing that. But I'm really excited because it's going to be such a cool little addition to the island. We're going to get some of you guys having your builds left on the island. The winner's build will stay on the island forever. So that'll be really cool as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the first wave of contestants has been selected now. So if you are interested in future um, village builds on the island, keep in touch because if this goes to plan, I will probably try and do another wave of this over the summer or so. So yeah, keep that in mind and um, let me know your comments and thoughts on that and um, we'll see how things progress, which will be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. And also make sure you check out the Twitter feed, the Patreon feed, and jump into the Discord if you are a user of Discord because we talk about all of that on there as well. So it's a good place to keep yourself up to date on all the activities. But let's get back into the builds. You see there's been quite a lot of development since we was talking just then. Um, I created this really cool little bit on the front here which is kind of imitating where the control center would be. Um, and putting these doors and windows in kind of also gives the feeling that there's a lot going on underground in these bunkers as well. This is just basically the the lip out from the bunker, um, which is how, it, you know, that's how I believe that this area looks. I mean, I don't know if there's a lot of evidence on the internet because obviously it's a, it's a, um, a location that's very secretive in that sense. There could still be stuff going on there today. I don't think anyone really knows, but um, that was what I wanted to try and recreate here and give that feeling that the bunker below this is obviously where a lot of the um, intelligence is um, and this part here that you see is pretty much just the outside and where the rocket launches and you know the people are monitoring around etc but that little control tower really really pleased with how that worked out using a lot of different props and assets um, to get that to work and really happy with how that come out I'll also be interested in your thoughts as well guys in terms of the last few builds I've been doing have been quite historical I guess <laughs> and um, whilst I really enjoy these builds because they're very unique, they're very different, um, it allows you to put a lot of detail into a certain sort of location as opposed to a huge amount so it does also help with the frames but what do you guys like? Do you prefer these sort of videos where it's a very unique build, something quite different, a little PO here and there? Or do you prefer seeing huge sort of towns being built up, large road construction and inter, uh, interconnections, etc., or just some of the farm life? Be interesting to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comment section below what you like to see, and also ping me a message and let me know what you want to see next on the island because I have got a really interesting project up my sleeve. A very, again, a very unique one that I know that nobody has done yet. And if it pulls off well, I think it will be a really, really cool build and episode. So keep an eye out on that. It's probably gonna be a couple of weeks away based on the current build schedule I've got. But I'm really excited to show you that if it works. If you don't ever see it, you know it didn't work. So we'll, we'll leave that there for now. But this little area here, I really like this. So I wanted to try and tidy things up and make it look a little bit more um, presentable so I actually use some of these old Monaco walls to fill in some of these gaps just to make it look a little bit more realistic um, and yeah they really did work well for me um, I use a lot of the dock um, assets from Ronex as well for this build which you wouldn't really imagine work would you um, especially when this is not on a dock area so Strangely, they did work really nicely and I wanted to create a little bit of a unique look and style to this. So I had these underground parts here which weren't fully covered by the walls just to keep bits in, sort of exposed as well. Um, just to make things look a little bit more interesting. Now talking of interesting, we are about to work on the, well, I guess the masterpiece of the build. This is the 
prime part of the build that makes it come to life and this is the actual area where the test rockets and missiles take off from so quite hard to really get this to work perfectly well but I think what I was able to achieve looks very similar to what it is in real life and we had to use a lot of these walls to create the structure you can see now on screen that it's a very unique looking um, rocket sort of takeoff area because it's a very small location obviously to start with it means that that's quite difficult but I want to try and make it as realistic as possible and I had to scour the workshop to try and find things that suited <laughs> this area quite well and um, thanks to the the Sheik who's also a youtuber so check out his channel as well he found some um, I think they were billboards metal construction billboards which actually worked perfectly well for this particular part I had no idea what I was going to use if it weren't for the Sheik letting me know so a big thank you to the Sheik for helping me find the correct assets for this area as well uh, but we're also going to move on to my earlier comment about um, inspiration now I'm sure you know who I'm going to mention here but yes City Walk City Wall really inspired me to work on this area I could have left this as ruins and just fill in this area but his amazing Mars series really gave me a buzz to create something along those lines so if you haven't seen his series check out YouTube it's the Mars series and it's by City Walk City Wall but back into the build this area here was quite an interesting one because it actually has a meaning for it. So you see the little trench that we've used here. Now, after a lot of research into this particular area and this build in itself, these little trenches were what they used to almost hide away the masses of smoke that the missiles create when taking off. So basically, it's almost like a blocker or a defender in that sense that allowed these missiles to take off and the overflow of all these um, smoke trails and gases etc were not obviously stopped but repelled in some way which obviously is very key during a war or some sort of a crisis that people can't see where your missiles are being shot from because obviously that would become a huge target for the enemy to then attack so that was really interesting I really enjoyed the learning side of things for this particular build so that was really really fun and I put down one of these smoke um, props or assets animations whatever you want to class it as just to add a little bit of um, a little bit of fun to the to the build and it actually works really well with the cinematics which you'll see a bit later on Next up was to create the steps down to this location. So it is a little bit further down the hill and I wanted to recreate those um, those contours and the, the leveling of the land. So that was quite cool to do. And I found that using these staircases, which is the same ones that I used over at the needles that we worked on two episodes ago, they work really well. And the reason they work so well is because you can lower them down to the ground and there's a lot of different variety of those available which um, worked perfectly for this. Now I was starting to use these rails because they looked and worked really well. They're quite similar to what they actually is um, in real life but when I actually turned them to suit the, the sort of the way these staircases went up unfortunately the asset wouldn't well the prop didn't really let me change it as I wanted to I wanted to try and have it all level and correct so in the end I actually use these bars um, I'm not sure what they actually are I think they're for the motorway but they work really well I mean because I'm hiding most of that bottom layer in the actual staircases it actually looks like a really cool little um, handrail on the way down so certainly look at using those in the future if you wanted to create some really fancy looking steps because it did really work well for me just there 
Now I don't know if you recall, but when I first did the introduction video for this, the area here that we're working on now is actually one of the first views you see when the introduction video was going. Obviously, as I said, we've changed that today. Today is the first episode with the new introduction video sort of part. Um, but this was actually the main introduction sort of view you saw, looking over into the sea with the little beach below it as well. And when I first put that in, I did actually think to myself, can we recreate this area? Because it's such a beautiful area. But I mean, these these builds all around it are very unique and they were they were a challenge to do, I must say. It wasn't such an easy build to do in itself. So I'm really pleased that we were able to actually do this and it's nice to complete a whole area um, as it should look. I don't like missing segments out of builds. I know obviously we have to sometimes. Um, I mean, if I didn't do this, I would have just had to fill this whole area in with trees and foliage, etc., which wouldn't have been the best way of doing that, but it would have still worked. Um, but I am really pleased that we were able to, to get this all to work and to suit this area, make it look like a, well, like it's meant to, but also it adds a lot of character to it as well. I really like the fact that this very top corner of the island is very, very based around the history of the island and what was done to um, try and keep the island safe or prevent mainland from having any difficulties. So that was a really cool thing. And I really do like the history of this build and also the history of the island. It's really something to look into if you wanted to learn a little bit more about that. I must say that I really do love getting these sort of views as well. From here, it looks so fantastic. I really do enjoy it. And that's what the whole, you know, when you create a nice little build, I just love that moment inspiration you have where you find that perfect screenshot and you just sit there and admire it and think to yourself, I'm watching a game. But sometimes you kind of get lost in the um, reality of things and uh, the builds themselves almost have their own character. And that's why, you know, when I'm watching videos or seeing screenshots, the ones that really appeal to me are the ones like that, that really do have some character about it. They tell a story, tell a scene, something like that is what I really do like. And it's almost like you're adding the personality into your build. And to me, that is what's so fantastic about this game. I know I say it regularly and you may be getting bored of it by now, but the game really is just incredible in that sense. It really does open up your creativity and yeah, it's, it, it just really does what what I need it to do for me, which is brilliant. I'm sure you guys can understand that and you have your own sort of thoughts and feelings on that. But here you see the final parts now really of the build of me using Mac Welshman's beautiful paths and trying to get those into shape and make things work. And they do really bring the area to life as well just by adding those in. Also, I do owe someone an apology. P. Delmo, I do apologize. Unfortunately, in the last video, I got your grass, this beautiful grass here, the uh, flower patches mixed up with uh, Ronix. So apologies for that. I hope you will forgive me and <laughs> allow me to still use your beautiful, beautiful assets. And with that said, guys, we are at the end of the episode today. Really, really pleased with how this came out. You'll see on screen now, we're just doing a little final touches of the detail, but all in all, this really did come together. I did lay down a few more bits of grassland and plants, etc., which you'll see on the cinematics. But all in all, really pleased with how this came out. Look forward to your comments, guys. It's always good to hear your feedback and where you think that we could improve or change or which area you think we should work on next. I'm always open for ideas. Like I say, this build is as much yours as it is mine. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how the next few projects work out because like I said, I've got some really cool ideas for that. And the save game is almost ready. I know I've said this for a couple of weeks now, but testing is going well. I think we have got to a point where I can almost issue this to you guys. So if you do want to be involved in that, jump into the Patreon and you'll be able to find the save game map very shortly. And if you feel like contributing as well, it would be great for your support. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and all the best.